Hello everyone. Welcome to the Health Sense. Most people experience colds or flu from time to time. However, there are some proven ways to reduce the chances of becoming infected. Although most cold and flu infections occur during the fall and winter seasons, the viruses responsible for these illnesses are present year-round. Fighting off a viral infection takes its toll on most people, causing them to miss days at work and valuable time with their friends and families. In this video, we describe 15 evidence-based ways to avoid getting sick, so people can maintain their health and make the most of their time. Here they go. 1. Get vaccinated. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, getting vaccinated is the best way to protect against seasonal flu infections. The flu occurs when a person becomes infected with an influenza virus. Flu vaccines contain influenza antigens, which signal the immune system to produce antibodies. These antibodies can protect against invading flu viruses and keep people from getting sick. There are four types of influenza viruses, all of which can mutate throughout the year. These mutations can reduce the effectiveness of seasonal flu vaccines. If the vaccine is well matched to the circulating influenza virus, it can prevent 40 to 60 percent of flu infections. While flu vaccines do not guarantee total immunity, they can reduce the severity of symptoms and lower the risk of flu-related hospitalizations and deaths. 2. Stay at least 3 feet away from anyone who's coughing or sneezing. The flu virus is a parasite that hangs around in respiratory secretions that travel through the air in small droplets, when projected by a cough or sneeze, they can fly about three feet before gravity takes over, Dr. Adalja says. A flu patient who's actively projecting these droplets by coughing or sneezing can contaminate the air you breathe. There's no practical way to assess whether someone has a benign nose tickle, a cold, or the flu, so it's best to keep your distance from anyone with suspicious symptoms. 3. Keep your hands away from your face, and far from your mouth and nose. Simply touching a contaminated surface won't give you the flu, since the virus doesn't infect the skin, it has to make it to a mucosal membrane in your mouth or nose to cause an infection. But you risk getting sick when you touch an infected surface and transfer the virus to your face. 4. Disinfect surfaces. Viruses can survive on many different types of surface, including, metal, plastic, fabrics, paper, and glass. How long a virus can remain infectious on these surfaces depends on a variety of factors, such as temperature and humidity. However, a 2016 study suggests that influenza viruses can survive outside the body for extended periods, possibly even months. People can lower their risk of infection by using products that contain alcohol or bleach to disinfect frequently used objects, such as countertops, desks, and keyboards. 5. Keeping the air clean. Common colds and the flu are types of respiratory infections. The viruses that cause these illnesses replicate in the mucous membranes that line the respiratory tract, and they can travel through the air in tiny droplets of mucus. This means that people with a cold or the flu can spread the virus whenever they cough or sneeze. For example, influenza viruses can travel up to 3.7 meters, around 12.2 feet, through the air after a person coughs or sneezes. People can reduce the risk of infecting others by staying home when they are ill and covering their faces when they sneeze or cough. When using disinfectants and cleaning products, it is essential to read the labels and follow the instructions carefully to ensure that surfaces are properly disinfected. 6. Clean communal surfaces at least once a day. 
The flu virus can remain viable without a host for about 24 hours, according to Dr. Adalja. In general, all household surfaces are going to be contaminated with the flu virus if you're living with someone who has the flu, he says, adding that about 25% of people who become infected experience no symptoms but can still be contagious. It's why you should wipe down commonly touched surfaces, think phone chargers, fridge handles, and light switches, at least once a day using any standard household cleaner, regardless of whether anyone in your household is sick. Before you drop a paycheck on cleaning supplies, remember that going above and beyond to clean surfaces still isn't an iron-clad way to avoid the flu, because there are so many opportunities for the virus to spread directly between humans in a shared environment, Dr. Adalja says. 7. Practicing good hygiene. Viruses can enter the respiratory tract through a person's eyes, nose, or mouth. A person can infect themselves by touching a contaminated surface and then touching their face. Washing the hands regularly and thoroughly with clean water and soap is an effective way to protect against viral infections. According to the CDC, proper hand washing can result in a 16 to 21 percent decrease in respiratory illnesses, such as colds and the flu. If soap is not available, a person can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. A range of hand sanitizers is available to purchase online. 8. Taking zinc supplements Zinc is an important micronutrient that occurs naturally in meat, fish, nuts, and other foods. According to a 2016 review, zinc deficiency can lead to a weakened immune response and inflammatory skin conditions. People with a weakened immune response are less able to fight off infections. A 2017 meta-analysis suggests that zinc lozenges can reduce the duration of common colds by about 33%. Participants in the study were consuming between 80 and 207 mg of zinc per day. 9. Eating more fiber Dietary fiber has many health benefits, including regulating digestion, preventing constipation, and lowering the risk of a number of health conditions. A 2018 study in mice suggests that dietary fiber may also boost the immune system. The researchers compared the immune responses in mice that ate a low-fiber diet with those that ate a high-fiber diet. The results of the study suggest that the short-chain fatty acids present in dietary fiber enhanced the mice's immunity to influenza infections. 10. Get enough sleep. As if going to bed on time on a normal basis isn't hard enough, you need more ZZs when you're feeling under the weather. When you're tired, your body isn't fighting as hard, so Dr. Mengel suggests getting 8 to 10 hours a night to keep your system in tip-top germ-fighting shape. 11. Work out regularly. Regular physical activity can improve a person's general health and well-being and reduce the risk of a number of illnesses, including heart diseases, stress and anxiety, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes, and of course certain types of cancer. In addition to these benefits, research from 2016 indicates that physical activity can also improve a person's immune function and decrease their risk of respiratory infections. A 2018 study also examined the benefits of meditation and exercise for preventing acute respiratory infections. The eight-week study followed 390 participants, who the researchers had randomly assigned to one of three groups, no training, control group, mindfulness-based stress reduction MBSR, training, and moderate intensity exercise X, training. The researchers reported a 14 to 33 percent reduction in the number of acute respiratory infections among participants in the MBSR and X groups, compared with the control group. People in the MBSR and X groups who developed acute respiratory infections also experienced less severe symptoms. 
The United States Department of Health and Human Services states that any physical activity is better than none. However, to experience substantial health benefits, they recommend that adults do at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic exercise per week. A person can spread this activity throughout the week. 12. Keep the windows closed. Although cracking a window next to your sneezing office neighbor might give you peace of mind, since theoretically, it would help circulate out infected air, chances are it won't do much to protect you. Unless someone literally sticks their head out the window or moves out to the fire escape, opening the window won't have any measurable benefits once the flu virus is in the air, Dr. Adalja says. For what it's worth, the flu virus's outer coating hardens in cold, which helps it remain viable while passing between people, according to researchers of a 2008 study published in Nature Chemical Biology. 13. Avoiding cigarette smoke Smoking is a known risk factor for several diseases, such as cancer, asthma, and respiratory infections. Breathing in secondhand smoke can also increase a person's risk of developing these conditions. People who smoke or regularly inhale cigarette smoke are also more likely to experience severe symptoms when they get colds or the flu. According to a 2018 review, cigarette smoke can affect the immune system and reduce a person's ability to fight off infections. Quitting smoking and avoiding secondhand smoke are great ways to improve overall health and reduce the chances of getting sick. 14. Do your own dishes. It's very difficult to completely avoid flu exposure when you're living in the same household as someone who is infected, Dr. Adalja says. But taking on extra chores, like emptying the dishwasher, can keep an infected roommate from planting his or her virus on utensils and glasses that end up in your mouth. 15. R-E-L-A-X. Yes, the flu can make you sick, but guess what? Stress can, too, people who report psychological stress are less likely to develop protective antibodies in response to the flu vaccine, according to a 2009 review of 13 existing studies, which was published in Brain, Behavior, and Immunity. It's important not to become completely obsessed and compulsive, Dr. Adalja says. During a flu season like this, when the virus is spreading among humans in every type of environment and community, you're going to be exposed to it, even if you live in an overly sterile environment. Summary Viruses are present all year, but there are ways to prepare for cold and flu season and to reduce the chances of becoming sick. Getting an annual flu vaccine and practicing good hygiene are great ways for a person to protect themselves and others. Some lifestyle and dietary changes that can reduce the likelihood of getting sick include regular exercise, increasing zinc and fiber intake, and quitting smoking. That's it, folks. Stay healthy. See you soon.